So I'm rebuilding the Z head and something that's always bothered me was this blade here is not 90 degrees. So I hold it up there. Let's see if it'll come on the camera. So you can see the big gap on the bottom. Not only that, but the surface uh, here, it's thicker here and thinner here. So what I've had to do to get around that was on the drill press, uh, find the lowest one and then drill it out over here. So at least I can get a flat surface here, but yeah, the whole thing is kind of messed like that. So uh, I'm getting rid of that and I made one out of steel and like so. And I've tried flame straightening it. Well, I guess, I guess it's TIG straightening, I guess you'd call it. Because instead of using a, uh, a saline torch, I used my TIG torch. And just to try it out, because I thought it would work, and it, it does work. So, uh, when I welded this thing, so I, I mounted it like this, and uh, clamped it in, welded it and all that, uh, attacked the sides first, and then did the outside. Not sure which one. It's that one, yeah. So welded this one, and then uh, yeah, checked it, and what actually happened, like I thought it was gonna pull, uh, pull out like this, because you're gonna weld on that side, it's gonna shrink, and but it didn't. It, it kind of, kind of shrunk back in, and that kind of sucks because like I didn't have the the bead on this side, and when I put that one in, it's gonna squish it in even more. So that, okay, I'll just do it anyway and see what happens. And uh, yeah, so it, it squished in by maybe in total a degree. And then uh, yeah, after like grinding, grinding everything, everything was like great and whatever. So I was gonna try flame straightening it, and uh, it totally works. But the big problem is the take torch is produces so much localized heat that you gotta watch out because you're gonna instantly melt the surface like this and you're gonna just pull it up. So uh, I think the best way to, if you're gonna try this, maybe even, where's my torch? So that's, that's what the uh, end of my torch looks like. But I think next time I'm gonna do this, I'm just gonna round it off so it's just a, a bubble so there's no point at all because you really don't want any localized plasma going there and what I was doing was as I'm as I'm welding it uh, I'm I'm reaching up and as, as far as I can go and uh, and still stay in the the argon gas and like you can't certainly weld like that but you can just see the the plasma beam just disperse out and uh, once you get far enough away then you're not you're not just instantly liquidizing the the metal under you and it can kind of work but yeah I think next time uh, put a ball in the end and then also probably double my uh, my argon I think I'm I think I'm hitting probably maybe 15 17 CFH but I think if I'm going to do that again, I'm going to, I don't know, go like 20, 25. You're only going to do it once and uh, see how that works. But yeah, overall this, this piece is, after going back and forth, like is, is as straight as I can make it. Like there's, there's a bit of a, you can see the, the line there. I zoom in even more. Yeah, it's hard to see, but the uh, the only deflection now is just the the bend in the steel itself, which is like very minimal. Like it, right now, it's probably out like a tenth of a degree or so. So definitely, it's a great way to make functional parts, but not pretty parts, because you know you're gonna have the possibility of this shit happening, but.
in my case, I don't really care about that. I just want it to be flat and parallel and yeah. So yeah, other than that, I'm uh, rebuilding the head, trying to uh, make some of these bearings move a little easier because my my X axis is uh, a little tight and skipping. So hopefully after I do all this stuff, things will work out a lot better.